it's Lydia, 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 and a welcome back. If you're new here to my channel, be sure to subscribe. I will love you if you do. Um, now for today's video, if you could tell by the title, I'm going to be going through some products that I personally think were a fail. I personally think that you should just save your money and skip out on buying them, especially if you have similar product preferences to me. I will be explaining why I don't like some of these products, so the very reason why I personally don't like these products could be the exact reason why you would potentially love them. So let's just jump right in to the first product that we have. So right here, it's actually, this is a two-in-one. I actually already returned the other one. I should have just returned this one too, but I figured I would keep it around, try it again, see if it really, really works for me. Um, so this is the Garnet Fructis Style Curl Treat line. So in my opinion, I think that this entire collection was a total flop. Um, that may be a little bit harsh, but honestly, besides the fact that this product smells good, that's the only thing that it has going for it in my opinion. And it's also affordable, but I personally think even though it's less than ten dollars save your money and use it on something else there's a lot of other great products that are under ten dollars that you could buy instead of these products so this right here is the jelly the shaping jelly um, I kept this simply because the smoothie it just wasn't working into my hair the way I wanted it to I did do a full review trying out these products and my wash and go results weren't that bad besides the fact that my hair was completely dry and let me just give you all a little bit of tea so after I was done filming that video um, where I tried out the product, I gave you guys my various day after check-ins and stuff like that, I told y'all my curls felt really, really dry. And in fact, they got so dry to the point where once I washed my hair, I noticed that I had some breakage. Like when I tell y'all I was... I was livid, I was pissed, I was like, what the hell did I just do to my hair? I was beyond upset and definitely made me, made me want to be a little bit more reserved when it comes to trying um, a bunch of new products all the time just because I really don't want to put my hair health in jeopardy. But yeah, essentially the reason why I don't like this product and the smoothie, I didn't try the butter from this collection. I think the butter, um, it was just too thick for my hair. Um, but the jelly, it's a little too drying. The smoothie didn't give in to my hair, so that's essentially why I I personally think it's a fail and why I definitely think you should save your money and skip out on these products. Next up I have the Curl Essence Moisturizing Curling Cream and let me just be straight up with y'all. I personally think that this entire collection was just a little bit overhyped. I saw everyone talking about it on Instagram, on Twitter, social media, whatever the case may be. And it is an affordable line. They do have a variety of products. Like if you like to co-wash, if you like to shampoo, if you like jellies, if you have leave-ins, they have it all. But in my opinion, one, I mean, I told y'all when I did my review of the curl activator and the jelly I can't stand the smell of these products like they're just too strong of like that coconut scent and I just don't rock with that um, but this moisturizing curling cream in particular I used it for like a one product wash and go and I tried to use some of the curling jelly to like touch it up and I honestly my wash and go was a hot mess like it was frizzy it wasn't defined it didn't feel that moisturized if anything it kind of just looked like I didn't put any product in my hair now like I said in the beginning like that's just my experience with this product um, I feel like it's just it, it's like it's not that it's too lightweight and it's not that it's too heavy it's kind of just like it didn't either for me in my opinion so I personally think that there are other creams curling creams that are better in my opinion for instance the coconut curly elongator by diva curl that's a more expensive choice but it's still really good and even the wonder curl moisturizing butter that one is great too but this one not a big fan so this next product kind of is a little obvious especially if you've seen my last video where i reviewed the allocate naturals lemongrass collection this right here it's the hold it styling gel y'all just save your money don't buy this if you're into like the lemongrass collection or the lemongrass leave-in and you want to try some of the other products go ahead i've been personally loving the lemongrass oil spray that stuff is bomb and it smells amazing and it's silicone free but this hold it styling gel it's just not good like it feels horrible when i applied it to my hair like it felt rubbery it didn't do that much to like hold my hair it kind of left it frizzy and dry it just it did nothing and when i looked on social media i saw that other people kind of had the same experience as me so let me know down below if you've tried this hold it styling gel do you love it do you hate it did it leave your hair feeling super weird when you applied it to your hair let me know down below but honestly i would definitely just save your money skip out on this you don't need it it is a little bit more on the pricier side so like i said you can skip out on it it's not that imperative to have the other product within the lemongrass collection that I personally wasn't a big fan of and that it was basically a fail for me and this is one of the products that is just a 
preference kind of thing. I personally just don't care for heavy twisting butters. I don't do twist outs that often. I'm a wash and go gal through and through. Um, and yeah, this twisting butter, even if I were to use it, I have other butters that I like more because they're not as stiff and thick. My hair, if I were to use this all over, it would just be a little too heavy for me in my in my personal preference. So if your hair is similar to mine, if you have the like similar product preferences as me, I would personally say skip add on this just because it's just a little too stiff and a little bit too thick for my hair. And last but not least, these two products by Curl Mix, I was really disappointed with. Um, I've gotten tons and tons of requests from you all asking me to try out the Curl Mix line. And I bought these myself, all of these products I bought myself. Um, and honestly, yeah, I was really disappointed. I didn't, if you could tell, like I barely used these just because immediately when I started applying it to like the bottom section of my hair, it literally just felt like I was applying nothing to my hair. It wasn't doing anything to define clump give my curls any shine and honestly I mean I picked up the watermelon fragrance and I do not do not like the way this smells which is so like unfortunate because when you go on curl mixes Instagram everyone's curls looks amazing like I fell into the trap because I mean obviously you all requested me to try out these products but by looking on their Instagram I was like okay I'll definitely buy these I'll definitely try these out and honestly I just I was not a fan they don't smell that great they didn't do that much for my hair when I was applying it to my curls um, so yeah I would definitely skip out on these maybe later down the road I might try another another fragrance or another scent um, and see how well that works but yeah this is their hair growth organic hemp seed oil watermelon fragrance um, product so I got the the gel and then the leave-in so yeah regardless these products just weren't that great yeah but yeah that basically wraps it up I hope you all found this video helpful I know for me personally I love videos like this just cuz I'm a product junkie I'm a consumer just like you all and I always look for other people's thoughts and opinions to really gauge and see if a product is worth buying or trying especially if someone has a similar hair type or texture or porosity as I do or just a similar product preference in general so regardless I do hope you find this video helpful I know my voice and my opinion isn't the end-all be-all so definitely do your research definitely look around and see what other people think on any of these products and see if it will work for you but these are just personally my own opinions and I didn't mention it before just because I don't like these products does not mean I don't like the entire brand y'all know if you watch my videos regularly some of my holy grails are from Allocate Naturals so just wanted to throw that out there but regardless I hope you found this video helpful comment down below if you've tried any of these out do you love them do you hate them I want to know so comment down below and if you made it all the way to the end of this video be sure to comment the word save down below because I hope this video helps you save some money so yes comment the word save down below give this video a big old thumbs up and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell I will love you if you do I won't hate you if you don't but I will love you if you do but thanks again and I will see y'all in the next one peace